So our first look at uh, this idea of machine learning is uh, this uh, website draw plans faster. And um, I think I've shown you a little bit of this, but the idea is that um, uh, this software out through algorithms and actually a little bit of machine learning can learn how to place walls in spaces to divide them up for making living arrangements. And um, that may feel a bit disruptive to us who are just starting to learn about um, doing arrangements, laying out things, thinking about spacings of components, to see that these tasks are already um, uh, potentially going to be automated in the future. Um, and in many ways, I'm presenting these concepts so that you figure out as an architect where you're going to spend the time, your educational experience, and what things are the most important to learn, what things do you get the most joy out of, and anticipate those tasks that you may find unpleasant, that they may actually be automated. And so you can spend your time thinking about other things. So really the idea uh, in a nutshell about understanding these technologies is figure out your place in a learning continuum of what will go forward. So let's just spend a few minutes on this site, see what, um, see the way they present things. They talk about uh, designing faster, exploring variations. So imagine that you're stuck on a layout of a room or just um, you created a really complex um, floor plate uh, for a building and uh, it seems very tedious to go through and then try to cut up those spaces to lay out uh, rooms. Imagine the software being able to do that for you and how that could empower you to be freed up to think about what's happening on the exterior of the building. And so um, the idea here is this is just more demonstration of it and I wanted to share it with you. The idea of identifying those spaces and then having it generate uh, floor plans for you according to criteria that you might set up for it. And um, you can see how this happens relatively quickly. So um, you probably, you may be able to download and play with this in the future. Um, and maybe you don't want to. I'm not necessarily saying that you have to. I just want you to be aware of this technology. Um, and it works with all kinds of software. And it has a cost to it. Um, so obviously, um, you can try it out in a free trial. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't want to do it until you were maybe finding a benefit in trying it in a project um, because after that, it has a cost associated with it. And uh, you'll notice that if you read some of this, um, uh, the nomenclature or the, you know, the discussions about how does it generate work, um, you'll notice that it talks about an algorithm that is based on a principles of diffusion, that diffusion modeling term that we talked about. Um, so learning these terms or being come, coming somewhat familiar with them will be very beneficial for you, kind of understanding this overall concept of where we're going with artificial intelligence and machine learning.